This river is an East African river forming part of the upper headwaters of the Nile and carrying water from its most distant source in Burundi. It meanders through the valleys and hills of Rwanda and into Uganda where it proceeds to pour its water into Lake Victoria. But unlike any other natural river that has clear waters, the waters in River Kagera are brown in color, an obvious sign of pollution. All the soil that is being taken into the river is the one that actually uh, makes the water dirty and then causes uh, unnecessary expenses. So uh, what we see here is that in some places uh, farmers manage their land in such a way that they use bush barney. This is as a result of poor land use along the river Kagera Basin. Because of the fertile soils along the banks of the river, a lot of farming activities take place here, mainly crop cultivation, which weakens the soils. This over time has caused siltation in the river. This siltation is the one that encourages water hyphen to grow very well in the water. Secondly, it is the one that can increase the cost of cleaning up the water. And normally we export salt, uh, uh, silt in form of soil, in form of fertilizer to Egypt without realizing it. So I would encourage our farmers to ensure that the cultivation is done in the proper way. This leaves the water contaminated. Now the national water grid which gets its water from the river has had to deal with an extra expense of purifying the water because the silt has clogged their pipes. We are trying to uh, pilot another chemical called polymer which has very many advantages. Eh? Uh, it is more effective than aluminium sulfate we are using currently and it, it doubles. Eh? It can double as aluminium sulfate together with soda ash. It emits those two and we use it at once. Eh? It is used as one. Now funds are being raised to create initiatives to sensitize farming communities that live along the river basin how to practice better farming methods which will preserve the river in the long run. Authorities are also planning to enforce the environment guidelines like staying at least 200 meters away from the riverbanks.